You've done this in the past. What, what they do is you rock back and forth, and as they step in, you come in, and I'm gonna create that distance to be able to get up. And then when I'm ready, I it was like come in, and I close the distance, and I and I I close the distance by oh, I mean, ariete yeah. or uh, or knock on that door, that front door, kick, come in, climb up. When I'm, when I'm ready, and then deal with it that right. way. And then usually after I climb up, I you put your pencil back up, put the pencil up, I pencil back, boom, here. And then let them go and move on. Um, but the other thing we do is we crab walk, which is like here. So I want to stay out. By sucking him in, as soon as I get him in, now I'm in. I'm out. I'm up. Right. But the crab walk, so if it's, you're now you're doing multiple points. So I'm trying to V off, and I'm moving, and I'm moving, and I'm moving. And then all of a sudden, I'm, I'm in. And, and, all, and the yellow and orange, that's where that takedown comes in. Right. That's where my, my uh, pencil home, bro. As you step, I go, boom. I'll take you down. Oh, yeah. Come there. Exactly. Right. And I'm out. Okay. Or the knocking on the door, the kick, the, the punch, or just the climb up. Right. Yeah. Um, but, and then that's from sitting. And then you do that same thing from, from here, from moving around. And, and it's kind of like weird because from here, you don't want to play this game. Right. You want to be able, what happens is, you can push down to the ground. You're compromised. So they're on you. Right. Otherwise, why the fuck I just get the fuck up? Yeah. You know? But So they play this game in the ground, and it's only the worst case scenario. You can't get up. Right. So you have to operate from there temporarily. So that's why you are uh, in yellow. That's the whole concept of yellow. Is to operate under the worst case scenario. I'm either sitting, I'm lying, I'm not. And you're, you're going to go down. Sometimes I'm in here, and they'll just like, like push me down again. Right. So you go to or kick me. You go to kick me, which is, you know, I don't know if you were going to kick that way because you're going to break your shit. Stop. So you like stop me. Boom, and I, and I go down. Now I got to operate from here. Right. And now I got to like, kind of move around, try to get back up again. Now at least like, now I have some kind of control. Right. You know? Boom. Up. Work your way back up again. So that's all of yellow. It's a lot of grind, like I said to you, you don't really need me to, I'll work it with you and, and oversee it for you, right. but I don't want to spend time on it here. Right. Because it's grueling. You'll be, exa like, you'll be exhausted in five minutes. I'm actually getting tired just yeah, fucking tired. Tired already. <laughs> you do one round of, of that and you're fucking shot. Right. You're done. So that's why I didn't want to play around with it, but we'll work it some more so that you guys have it. Right. So that's like almost all of yellow. You have your quarter manga. Quarter manga. Right. Cortamanga, Garaquela. Right. So that's Cortamanga is a takedown, and if I don't if I don't clear it, that's fine. I don't I really don't care. So right. when you put your hands up, the pencil door up, I don't care whether it's there or not. If I at first I can clear it good, if I boom, come back up. But here I'm here. Right. So I'm here and I'm I'm grabbing. As soon as I do that elbow, that elbow. Vicious because it's a part of my body. Right. Here. Right. Here, cover my nose, and I just go. Pit. So, with the mitt, you hold that mitt. So I go like this, and I go. Yeah, this and then I just hard. wrap. Wrap. Muay Thai clinch. Right. And I take the head down. So that's Garaquela. Right. So you have Kodamanga, Garaquela. That's a takedown in yellow. Right. Jiu Jitsu okay. to guillotine defense, okay, very effective, this works good, I, I did this on, a, my, my cousin is, he's been doing steroids for like 50 fucking years, he's a guy he's like, been doing it since he's right. born, and he's like 230, really jacked, he's a right. bodybuilder, and I said, put on the guillotine, now, I'm 160, he put it on as hard as he could, and I got out, um, and I'll show you how, so, I don't know how I end up in this position. <laughs> Again, maybe I'm fucking sleeping. Maybe he doubles me over. I really don't care how it ends up. Right. But you end up in worst case scenario, which is bad news. So he goes to put on the guillotine. Okay, now. Okay, so he's in the guillotine here. So now, first thing I need to do is I gotta try to get this off and drop my weight, because I don't want him to jack me around. Now, and I got this, I, what I do is I turn my head. So it's not on my neck. And I, I tuck my chin. I two on one, I tuck my chin and I drop my weight. Okay, so now, so now how do I get out? We used to do like just an old 
do a groin shot and then right. and get out and then turn the corner and we go from here and do all this and do all this we right. do a bicep strike that's old school i like this he comes with the guillotine i go here right I, i'm two on one i drop my weight what i do is i skip i put this in and what i want to do is i want to do it's called uh like the hulk i go ah <laughs> okay i use this wedge and I go like this, and I go, and right. I open up. And what this is, is a pry. So, he puts it on, I go like this, drop, I put this in here, in between it, right on his lap, right in the crook of his arm, I have this, and all I do is I, and I come up. And that's exactly what I'm gonna get. And then what I do is I turn the corner. I take two on one. Yeah. Now I'm here, what I do is I just tap the knee tap. Yeah. Bang. You know, knee tap, knee tap. Right. Tap that front knee tape down. Okay, do it again. Last one. You, you, you go put it on. Good. Good. It goes hard. Put it, put it on as hard as you want. Good. Good. <laughs> Every time. Yeah. I actually let you sink it in. Right. So this is how you work these drills. <clears throat> Get your biggest, strongest guys. Let them sink it in. In reality, I'm never going to allow this to happen but it's the worst case scenario. And if I can let him sink it in and I can still get out, that's good. Right. Because now you're working from the worst case scenario. I'm not worried because I'm not gonna allow all this to take place, let him sink it in, unless I'm like on high on drugs for some fucking, I've been drugged by <laughs> somehow. But truth of the matter is he's gonna be getting hit, hit, knee, stomped, headbutted. It's like, well, I can't headbutt if I'm in the fucking guillotine, but I can still stomp, I can still knee. Right. He doesn't have control of this. He doesn't even have control of it, but this is, I need to, to, this is the danger, is this on my neck. Right. So I need to take the two on release some of the pressure, drop my weight so he can't move me around. Now I just take this in and I, I pry, and that's exactly what I want. Now, I, this is ineffective, so all I'm going to do is take the turn and turn the body, but I could take this and turn this. I could take that off. So he goes like this, I go, before I, before I drop my weight, before I hang myself, I got to make sure I got two on one here. Pry, I pry it. I can take this. Oh yeah. Easily. You got the arm. I got the arm. I just like to turn the corner as fast because I'm a grappler. I like grappling and just knee tap. Right. So try that. Okay. Drops the weight, two on one. Boom. Sneaks. Zoom in. Right. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna right. You're gonna use that as a pry. Pry that open. Right. I'm gonna do it again. Okay. Yeah. Slip that hand in there, arm in, good. No, 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 go away, go in. Now, just turn the corner. Once you, once you turn the corner, I'm gonna take a two on one on the body. Right. Good, now you're here. Now all you do is knee tap, exactly, right. Right. take down. And move him. So when I, when I do this, don't stand still. Take, take the uh, headlock, guillotine, right? I go, go, put on the, you got the guillotine, right? I go here, I open up. Now I, I, I look, I'm here. I'm on you, right? hip on hip, and I move you. Now I have control, right. just like front of Scudo. You're wherever I want you to go, you're going. It's right. like, I, we call it like humping the leg, the door. Right. I, go, I go here, he's got no space, he's mine. Right. And when I'm ready, I take that, okay? For sure. Yeah. I don't even have to be that strong, but you take it down. Right. I'm on you like this, and I just go, <clears throat> okay, let's try it. Pry it open. You gotta pry this. You gotta take this arm. Do it again, like this. Put it on. I take this and I go like this. I gotta in between. I gotta pry, pry those. It's here and here. Okay. See the action. And, yeah. I, and at the same time, I'm stepping. And I'm now it's broken. I just turn the corner. Okay. Good, that's it. Good, that's it. Now, and get hump that, hump that leg, get the hips in. Good. And now move me, and then when you're ready, you take me out. Good. And it's it's not. You don't lift that knee tap. Yeah. That knee knee tap. I don't lift. I just tap. Oh yeah. I just go like this. And I just tap. Yeah. I don't need to lift you up. Right. Just knee tap, and that leg goes. Take down. 
Yeah, he's down. He's down. For sure. <laughs> Wanna try it one more time? Sure. This is really important, this stuff. Because if, if you get somebody that knows how to choke, this guillotine choke, you're done. Right. But this works, the strongest of guys. Pride. Good. That's exactly it, right? Just like you did it. Bang. And it looks yeah. just like this. I go like this, put this hand in, I go like this. And I open this up. Right. Open up. And then I turn the corner. Good. Cool. Good stuff? Yeah, that's good.